What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Today, we're starting a new seasonal show. Super excited. I know nothing about it, but I've heard great things. This one is called Windbreaker. We're doing one episode one and two today. Now, before we get into anything, for those of you guys who don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally only available on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description, watch that free full length, enjoy it. Come back here for the review when you're done. And if you did like that format and want to keep it, you guys can check out the Patreon. We'll have that for every movie, every show, everything that's going to be like that in the future. Um, come on over to the Twitch if you guys want to watch this live with us. It's always a vibe. And if you don't mind, follow me on my other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. I'm not going to waste any more time. Windbreaker, episodes one and two. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Starting with a rope. I've never done that, but I'd always be nervous as hell to do that, you know? I've never understood Japan's obsession with having with having black hair and not liking colored hair. Ichigo goes through it. There's so many people that be hating on the colored hair. I'm sure he's trying to walk the tightrope of just life, you know, social anxiety, just surviving whatever he's doing. That's just a good representation of life in general, man, walking that tightrope. I was just about to say I'm getting Tokyo Revenger vibes. Ooh, two colored eyes too. Oh, he took care of all of them. Okay. Sakura. Okay. Okay. He sincerely just cares about ending the week and staying strong. He's like, who are you talking to? Me? <laughs> he genuinely wasn't doing it to even protect her. So many people are hating on him. He has so much, he gets so much disrespect from people that someone, a girl, especially a pretty girl, treating him nice, he gets a little flustered. I've always wanted to try some omurice. Tachibana? This is literally Tokyo Revengers! You know it's gonna be banging too. Don't even try to act like it's not. She looks like she's a fantastic chef. Yeah, his eyes are fascinating me. Isn't there a, a, a term for people who have different colored eyes like that? What he's used to. What is that? He was too busy being just disrespected back where he used to live. That's why he moved here. The lowest in rank, the strongest fighters. I hang out for miscreants. Okay. That is pretty big talk. I'm here for it. <laughs> That's hilarious. This gives me such Tokyo Revengers vibes, minus the time traveling. Why is that? You gonna introduce us to someone? Give us a little training arc? That's Megumi's voice actor? I can hear it! That's hilarious. Does it take more than just fighting? Mmm. You need a gang. That symbolism of the tightrope the tight again. Okay. I'm intrigued. Well, Tachibana, thank you for making us that delicious food and giving us the layout of the city and everything like that. 
What the fuck? Is it him again? Oh no. He got more now? With baseball bats? Nah. These are the commercial cuts? Oh, that's badass. I like that. It gives me like One Punch Man vibes. I really enjoy that. People hate on it, especially in anime and Japan in general, but I fuck with it. Yeah, this is what he's used to. I do feel bad for him. Okay. Okay. No hesitation going in on everyone. All right, Sakura. I'm loving the camera work. Just following him right now, panning. Switches to a first-person shot. He's beating her ass with the music going on. Ashibano's like, what is going on out there? <laughs> yeah, you guys are some bitches for that. I won't lie to you. He doesn't care. Yeah. It's kind of like honor street code. Keep it just fisticuffs, you know? You win or lose. But you live to fight another day. I'd be way too nervous about that knife. Especially after watching Tokyo Revenge. Oh, right on his ankle. You know that hurts like hell. More side characters? Good block. I appreciate you for that. Don't tell you know who. These look like they're going to be some of our side characters. So instead of it being the Manji gang like in Tokyo or... Avengers, it's gonna be the Furin. Furin school. I'm really enjoying the music so far. Yuragi. Matsumoto, Kaji, and Yanagita. If there's one thing, if there's two things I love in anime, it's some great sword choreography and it's some great hand to hand choreography. So, I'm hoping I get some good one. Ooh. Shout out, Haragi. Imagine living in this area. <laughs> I won't lie, that would be me. I won't lie. Beat his ass! Twist his dick! Give me the old dick twist! That is hilarious. This whole area we just moved into is just a different world. Anyone past this point who causes pain? I saw that earlier. I didn't think that was an actual sign. Bofurin. I like the designs a lot so so far. The Guardians of the Neighborhood, Bofurin. The Windbreaker. Okay. Okay. I do I do really like that aspect. They're delinquents and thugs, but they protect what's theirs, you know. Completely the opposite of what they used to think of you back in the day, exactly. Right? 
and they get love this might be your spot bro you might need to move here you know he is but ah it must feel weird getting some love huh This gives me One Piece vibes, how a lot of the world hates pirates, but in Luffy's village, they love the pirates and, you know, they're always celebrating and stuff like that, you know? He has so much social anxiety from the stuff he used to de deal with that he's just not used to this. It literally scares him. Mm, that's a big key part of it. He didn't choose to be alone. Okay. I'm really enjoying this area so far. Like, you say these words out of your mind, but your actions prove otherwise, you know? So, I'm really enjoying the music so far, too. Mm, look up a little bit. Come on, with his hair in a first-person perspective, I really enjoy that. Come on, have a little confidence. Very rare that a character starts off emotionally depressed and traumatized, and already we're getting some welcoming feeling some love don't worry we'll, we'll win him over like i said i think this is the perfect place for you to be accepted and welcomed in worth nothing but his fists Became the hero of the town. Sakura arrives at Fulreen. That was a great first episode. All right, this is episode two. If you guys see a bunch of subs right now, one of the legends, Alpha Wolf, just gifted a bunch. He's an absolute goat. If, if he just keeps getting rewarded and great food by Tachibana, he will be a happy camper. I'm curious. I can't wait to see the rest. Another Furin boy. Oh. oh. Nire. I gotta start getting these names down. New Furin uniform. Okay. I hate when I get caught with a tag. Shout out, shout out him. I like his glasses with a little rope around him. He's like, are you going to disrespect me? I, I really like his shirt. His necklace, his glasses thing, and his little hairpin. So far, the fashion designs in the show are top-notch. That's a good question by Nire. What's the answer going to be, Sakura? Mm. Quite the response. Wow. For it immediately to be shot down by Nire. <laughs> He's talking about stress. That is a very stressful task. You know? <laughs> So oh, he's very eager. He's excited. Okay. 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 Nire is the Takamichi of the show so far. That is hilarious. That's yeah, kind of wrong to assume in certain situations, you know. Talk it out and give it a good look. Try to understand. Get to the get a little bit deeper, you know. Damn, Tachibana is spitting out here. Mm. 
Mm, reference to last episode, look up. Oh, I like that. <laughs> w Baker. You got some benefits walking around in a full you know, outfit. They look like they bake some incredible bread. He's making you take it to go? You can't decline that. Come on. If there's one thing I love in this world, it's some bread, you know? I love this town. This town is amazing. Bro, this is the coolest town he's ever been in by far. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like how he's already starting to think and change a little bit of his, his perception on the current situation, you know? Oh, Nirei's... Nah, yeah, we're saving the boy. I already like him too much. So Nirei is going to be kind of different than what Sakura thought. Sakura thought he would run away and he's in a good fighter because he only cares about fashion. But Nirei is going to be a not a good fighter, but he's going to stay and be a good hearted person. And even if he's weak, you know, That's what I respect about people like him. And Sakura is going to love that about him. <laughs> he literally is a Takamichi. Saying the both were in line, man. I respect it. I respect it. Good save Sakura. With the music. <laughs> He's a Bofurin just like you. The signature line. I didn't even need to show us. Just like that, it's up. No, I think the fact that you kept fighting and stayed is... It's gonna earn a little bit of respect from Sakura. Mm, so that inspired him. I think that's our boy from last episode who helped us too. I like that. I'm not a hater of the Takamichi archetype, you know. I always enjoy their kind of characters, you know. See? I'm telling you, man, him even being weak and fighting forward, fighting through it, you know, he's going to earn a little respect. Damn. W answer. It's like, you're weak, you're a crybaby, but you're not lame. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you're making some change already, buddy. She's thanking you. You 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 helped her out, you know. <laughs> He's a mix between Deku and Takamichi. Got to have the details and all the great fighters, you know. Shout out Nira. Facts. Okay. That's what he wants, too. I think they could make a great tag team together. I like that. Suo, Kiryu, Sugeru, Sugera. What is it? Of all the people to be in the same class with, who, who are we dealing with? He's going to be like, don't start anything. 
There's gonna be one person that's gonna be like the Baji, you know? It's crazy how much I can hear Megumi in his voice. He's stretching in case he gets into a fight. We do not want to fight any of them. I'm saying. Yeah, we do not want that at all. I think he's going to need a little humbling. Ooh. He will be humbled. Don't worry. That's the guy's design I like the most. Guy with the earrings. <laughs> you are not, you are not Leonardo DiCaprio. Suho. He seems like a jokester. He seems like a jokester. That's what everyone says. That's hilarious. Tell me about you, Sakura. Good that word is spread. You've done a good deed, you know. Uh, is, he... I was about to say, is he gonna say his answer? Huh? Are they all just gonna start laughing? All right, Baji. Sugishita. He does give mad dog energy. The hero of my dreams. Okay. Good start to the show so far. I'm really enjoying this. Well, like I said during the reaction, I apologize ahead of time if you guys see me making excessive Tokyo Revengers references, but Nirei reminds me of a mix between Takamichi and Deku so bad. And then obviously the guy at the end, Sugashida, reminds me of Baji. And there's a lot of a lot of that going around, which there's only so many archetypes you can create when it comes to delinquent high schoolers, you know, so I'm not surprised by that at all. But in terms of our characters, like individually, really enjoy them. Sakura, really liking. Tachibana, really enjoying. Nirei as well. I like how our main character is a Sundare, who is, uh, deals with a lot of anxiety, uh, a lot of disrespect in the past, so he's a little bit traumatized. But overall, I'm really liking the concept. Very simple. I want to fight my way to the top, except whereas normal high school delinquency would be bad, this one's very particularly specific because they're protecting their local neighborhood their local neighborhood loves them like it's like i thoroughly enjoy that that, that aspect of it because you'll see all the time in mafia and mob movies or shows where the guys give local protection but they're like taking money like hey pay me and you know just knowing that you're under us you're not going to get messed with you know but these guys are much different they're actually kind-hearted people and it's more it's more about you scratch my back i scratch your back kind of situation you know so i like that Really good scenario, really good situations, context, setup. I like that. Characters, music. is A lot of aspects of this are really good so far. So W first two episodes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions as well as early access to everything we do. And don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.